My name is Karen Collin. I'm a professor of pathology. I've been affiliated with Northwestern for many, many years, but my labs are located at Evanston Hospital, which is just a few blocks west of the undergraduate campus. As a pathologist, my goal is to improve making a patient diagnosis. We're the people that figure out if a patient has cancer, an inflammatory disease, infection, or whatnot. I see great value in the masters in biotechnology. Again, we interact a lot with biotechnology companies, and whether a student is going into the laboratory or into the business side of things, I think having that hands-on laboratory experience is appreciated by the biotechnology companies. They, they like having students who have been in the lab, understand what's involved in validating a new assay, have some experience with the clinical environment and, and you know, the issues that we deal with on a daily basis in terms of our laboratories. As a faculty member and as a uh, researcher, I have a great interest in mentoring students and have overseen uh, thesis work and, and more informal sorts of interactions for about 20 years. Northwestern students are very high caliber, high quality students who are eager to learn and it's been a terrific group to interact with. I've had students come through the PhD track as well as the master's track. A PhD student often ends up doing a open-ended hypothesis driven research project that you can't really map out and fit into a defined period in time. Master's students have got a little tighter time frame and in my laboratory those students will work on more defined projects, uh, validating an assay where we know perhaps the molecular targets we want to look at, we have some idea what the technology will be. It's a, it's a defined goal in mind that fits very nicely into the master's framework for, uh, for a student. There are a number of types of projects that students would work on in the laboratory and, and in general they fall into two categories. One is that we realize that looking at nucleic acids often can give us a better, more accurate, and much faster diagnosis than conventional technologies. A good example here would be in detecting infections. We can wait for something to grow in culture. It may take days to weeks. Or we can go in with a fairly straightforward PCR assay and identify the nucleic acid of that organism in a few hours. And not only can we identify that organism, but we can look at virulence factors, uh, antibiotic resistance factors, a whole host of, of targets that we can have, again, an answer within a few hours and really improve patient care in that manner. Another area of interest in the laboratory is trying to fine tune the diagnosis of, of various cancers. Um, we predominantly diagnose cancers right now by looking through the microscope, but it's well recognized that cancers have many more variables than just what we see by light microscopy. So we are looking at different genetic markers that define how aggressive a tumor may be, or how it's going to respond to different types of chemotherapy. And our lab in particular is interested at finding markers that we can look at in blood, such as cell-free DNA or circulating tumor cells that will allow us to really accurately assess whether a cancer is beginning to spread beyond the organ of origin, um, whether it's metastasizing, that sort of thing. And I think there's great promise for these approaches in years to come.